If you, Jack is the antithesis of Kaz. So if you spell Kaz C A Z and you reverse the letter and you'll understand who Jack is. <laughs> okay. What is the, what are we up to today? This is CEO of this Winners Wednesday class for those who just joined us. Hi. And we're going to do the CEO of core challenge. A lot of people at the moment are all going, we want core work, the core, the core, the core, the core. And as I'm, I'm so core, core blimey. Is that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start simply. I'm going to remove the block. By the way, a little, a little story about the block. I was in class today and a lovely lady, her knees were up like this. I present a block and she put, takes the block and she puts the block here. <laughs> so, um, as I said, this the block is not a cream <laughs> for the vagina or any other area. To, um, to reduce, you don't rub it and it doesn't have that effect. What you do is you sit on it and it creates more space, lengthening up, lengthening to the spine and allowing the hips to soften down. Anyway, a little interlude. Starting on the back. So I'm starting, I'm taking the thighs to get onto the black, back, <laughs> to get onto the back. Grounding to the feet, lowering to the feet, lifting the chest. Hello, heaven. Heaven's going, hello. Heaven really replies well because I'm so used to greeting heaven. Heaven's always like, hi, it's you again. Ta da! So we're rolling down, tailwind lengthens away, and I'm going to scoop forward a little so you can maybe see me from a different angle, different place, different space. Tailbone lengthens to the heels, and hello, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck, hands come to the belly. As a triangle, I love geometry, the sacred triangle. Placing it over the heart space, or the Dantian if you're from another language, or the centre, or just a wonderful, wonderful space in the body. Relaxing it, grounding it, softening it. Hmm. On the inhale, allowing that space to greet the hands. After the greeting, on the exhale, as the belly softens, the hands join with the belly and just goes with it as the belly moves. There's a passenger. <laughs> We're little passengers to the belly. We're greeting the belly, or the other way around. The, the belly is greeting the hands. So anyway, <laughs> either way, you can feel the relationship. You can either feel the belly with the hands, or feel the belly, or feel the hands with the belly, or did I say that? Either way, it's the same thing, one thing. And softening here, big inhale. Allowing that area to soften. And this area is also lovely area of the psoriasis muscle and it's such a wonderful muscle and you can google it after this video if you want so you can just read up about how wonderful the psoriasis is p-s-o-a-s so we're softening that if it's been working hard now it can have a holiday which is cool because i love holidays so the psoriasis is going mm, this is nice mm, yummy like it here mm, everything's relaxing the back is finding a great neutral place and then just one more. Inhale, breathing in. Exhale, softening everything. Good. Then we're just going to gently roll to one side and come into a nice position of standing. Wide stance here. Toes are slightly turned inwards. The hands come back to the belly. And now the spine knows what a nice neutral position is. It has it instinctively after being on the ground, so it may just come into it in case it's forgotten. Maybe short term memory loss, maybe, maybe not. It might be doing a bit of this, sticking the pelvis out, which could be lovely if there was someone standing here <laughs> as a partner dance, but that's not, that's not what we're doing today, or well, right now anyway. <laughs> well, you could be, but I'm not. Okay, so, or it could be the bum could be going out, shoving someone behind. We don't want that, we just want. The hips neutral, that, like it was on the ground. If you're male or female, it doesn't matter. Your sexual organs are going straight down to the ground, not thrusting outwards, not hiding behind you. So just straight down behind and softening here. Breathing in, same thing again, belly rises. Exhale, belly softens. Good. Now we're going to start to mix it all up. So we're making circles. So now the belly does come forwards on the inhale. And on the exhale it goes back. 
And it gives someone a shove. Inhale forwards. Hello. Exhale back. Shove. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Making it one continuous movement with no breath in the air. But you can be breathing, but if you're singing, maybe not one continuous movement, just to show the continuity of the whole thing, of the whole flow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Or if you're quite slower than me. Exhale. Or you can just put this video on slow, if you can do that on YouTube. Maybe you can. So now we're going to turn one foot out, toes pointing one direction. The heel of that foot nicely aligns with the arch of the other foot. And we're going to bend one knee, like we're about to meet one partner, one friend. Straighten that leg and then meet our other friend. Hello. And hello you. Ah, hello you. So we can go, oh, I like you, mm, and I like you, mm, and I like you. So it's a typical Gemini. Who do I like? I like you, and I like you, and I like you, and I like you. Hmm, who do I choose? So here, I'm going to straighten both legs, and then lengthen forwards, and I've chosen, I'm going for you. So lengthen, 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 as far as you can lengthen, back hips are reaching up, and when you can lengthen no more, as you're greeting, shaking someone's hand, that hand comes down and you're floating the other hand up to the sky. And just feel where your hips are in relation to one another. The top hip is ideally rotating on top of the bottom hip. And you're really lifting that top hand as an extension of your top hip. Reaching, pushing the floor over the feet, getting more space up, up, up. And then we're going to relax this top hand. And we're going to rotate the hips forwards. Like you're shaking someone's hand. That's your friend. Hello. Feeling where the hips are now in relationship to one another. So they've changed. So now warrior one hips. And then we rotate back into triangle hips. Top hip rotates back. Then the hips are coming up. Warrior one hips. And rotate back. So you can see how little yoga positions or big yoga positions, great big yoga positions, can be determined, the name can be determined by where the hips are in relationship to one another. And then one more. We come forwards, lengthen, I shake your hand. Ooh, why thank you. And both hands come to the floor, front knee can bend. Grounding through both hands, particularly the right hand here for me and my back foot, to give the space for the left foot to go back. I'm plank. I'm pushing through the hands to engage those shoulder muscles. Tailbone extends, back to heels. I'm lifting up into the spine, the backs of my legs are collapsing, they're lifting up. I'm going to shift the weight more down to the left hand and lift the right hand to the right thigh, keeping the hips as neutral or as even as you can. And then the right hand comes down, and then the left hand lifts up, and then the left hand comes down, and the elbow. And I'm going to get some weight so you can see something else. One hand, weight here, weight here. <laughs> more space. Okay, one hand lifts the weight. And down, over the hand, elbowing, lifts the weight, and down, weight to the thigh, and down, weight to the thigh, and down, one more side, weight back, weight back, weight to thigh, weight to thigh, <laughs> moving the weight to create a lovely space, coming all the way down. All the way up, up dog, pushing away from those hands, opening the chest, hello, hello, tucking those toes in, and back to down dog, pushing through the heels. Here, I'm going to extend the right foot behind, pushing through the hands to get that space in the spine, the length in the spine, making that back leg a lovely, beautiful extension of the spine. Pushing through the hands, getting being pulled away. On the exhale, curling that right knee halfway towards the nose. Hello, me. Not quite there yet. Inhale, send it back. <laughs> Exhale, bring it all the way to the nose. Hello, me. Shifting the body is forwards to create more space and lifting into that back. Really engage that core to bring the right foot forwards. Back knee comes down. You can give yourself a little bit of a hip shimmy here. A little bit of a hip move. Release the pelvis. Inhale, power through the right foot to come up. Hello, heaven. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, reach the fingertips towards the floor. Inhale, hello. Exhale, front foot moves forwards a little bit more, fingertips reach down. 
I'm just going to move these weights up the weight so I have more space now. Lifting up, inhale, reach through the waist. Exhale, foot reaches forward a little bit more, fingertips reach towards the floor. Inhale, up, up, up I go. And here, tuck the tailbone under, fingertips reach to the floor. Yeah, like that. Doesn't matter if they don't reach, they will. Or they shall, one day. Yeah, and then the hands are on the inside of the right foot. And again, a little bit of a hip move. Release the pelvis. You can also really relax the shoulders here, which might then bring the elbows to the ground. So you can soften a little bit deeper. And even then, relax the head, so look to your back knees, shake out the head, moderate maybe. If you're not on the forearms, maybe you can use a block. So you don't need, you know, you can just really soften into your pressure, make the, um, make the pressure as much as you want it, as much as is good for you. And then we can remove the block or we up. We bring the other hand, right hand on the outside, and we're going to start to straighten this leg and bring the forehead to the knee. And the chin is going to press against the sternum, so we're acting our thyroid and parathyroid gland. So bend the knee as much as is necessary to do that. But we're going to soften that forward to knee. Feeling that compression in the throat. Compression, compression. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then gently come up. And then shift the weight more to the left hand, to the left knee, to give you the space to bring the right foot back. And then we're going to play, because I didn't need to do that. And <laughs> bring it back. But it's fun. And then tuck the back toes under. What's happening here? The back toes are tucked under. And I'm going to sit on my back toes. And that might be a bit painful if there's any tightness in your connected tissue there, fascia, connected down the tissue there. So you'll be stretching it out. So if it's a bit painful, use your hands to lift yourself up. And then you can come back and just control how much fascia you put onto it. And then we can just relax over the front leg. It's melting here completely. Completely softening into what you feel. You might be on the forearms as I am. You're more flexible. Or you might be up like that. So softening forwards, maybe walking your hands. Finding a place which you like. Maybe taking the toes, head low toes. And then we're going to come out of that. Hands to the side, just sitting to one side. Screwing the other foot underneath. Maybe coming back to the mat just for the sake of, I don't know, <laughs> continuity of being on the mat. For the sake of a video, I don't know. So taking the back to the thighs, we'll go for that. Inhale, lift the chest, pushing through those feet. Exhale, chin tucks in. Reach back into your spine, that's almost pulling your spine like a coat hanger behind you. Elbows are reaching forwards, so you're getting a lovely space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, pushing through the feet to come up. Hello, heaven, open heart. Shoulders are soft. Exhaling, pulling back. Spine is being pulled back. Here we're going to bring the forearms to the floor and we're going to lift both legs. They like each other, they're together, they're not going to be apart. They, they like each other a lot, <laughs> so they're kissing each other. And then the exhale, bringing the knees up towards your nose, maybe they'll be able to touch the nose, nostrils, hello, nostril, hello. And then send them away. Inhale, goodbye. Exhale, up they come, they return. Inhale, let them. Someone's pulling your legs, exhaling. If you've got a friend, they can literally pull your legs, it's quite fun. <laughs> Exhaling, if you have a friend, a friend, one friend, any friend will do. Exhale, lift them up, belly pulls in. Inhale, lengthen them back. Here we're going to stay. Inhale, lengthen and open. Exhale, close, belly pulls in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, belly pulls in. Inhale, down, they go. Inhale, lengthen and pull away. Exhale, squeeze them in. On the next exhale, you lift them back up. And we're going to come up onto the hands, just if you want it, fingers reaching forwards. Inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, belly pulls in. Inhale, lengthen away. Exhale, navel pulls into spine. One more. Inhale, someone's pulling your legs. Exhale, legs come up. Back comes down. And you can, if you've got the flexibility in your back, you can use, I'm going to scoot forwards a little bit more. You can use your hands um, to help you up, or you can use your core to bring you into plow. So you're softening and plowing your shoulders and your back of your neck. And then you gently come down, rolling through the spine. You can use your hands to put the right hand, controlling your descent. 
Så <laughs> like, so like, oh, like, inhale, inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, belly pulls in, back the legs come, oh, the head. Inhale, legs come down, they lengthen away. Exhale, belly pulls in. Inhale, legs come down, how are you doing over there? Wherever you are, where are you? Exhale, belly pulls in, and now we're going to bring both feet to the floor. The hands are going to scoot to the feet, scoot to the ceiling, scoot behind your head, lengthening to the armpits, the belly. Might really soften here, might be a bit concave as well, maybe. Clumping the backs of the head with the hands, so you're giving the head. <laughs> you're not giving head, you're giving the head to the hands. Behave over there. Okay, on the exhale, relax one elbow down and you're going to reach the other elbow to the other side. Engage the ribcage, engage the lower belly. Inhale, relax the spine. Exhale, other side, belly engages. Inhale, exhale, reach to the elbow. Inhale, belly softens. Exhale, look up. Inhale, relax the spine. Exhale, keep going. Inhale, one more. Exhale, belly engages. How easy was that? Next one, legs lift up. And the legs are going to lift straight up now. We've done over the head. <laughs> Literally in the metaphor, okay, and then we've, we're going to, it's like someone's pulling your feet up to the ceiling. Isn't that, wouldn't that be fun if someone had to do, oh, it reminds me of silks. Have you done silks? That's for another day. Anyway, lifting both feet up and down. Both feet up and down. You're going to engage your lower belly to lift the feet straight up to the ceiling. The bum might just lift a little bit off the floor. It might not lift up at all. You might be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like a seal, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a seal, it's changed form. But anyway, whatever. Engage your belly, feet straight up and down, straight up and down, straight up and down. If you've got another friend, the same friend maybe, they can put one hand there, one hand there to guide the feet so you don't start to do that. But then guiding you to make sure you just go up, 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 up. Lovely friend. Good, and then after that, wow, there's more. We're going to hug our legs, hugging our elbows if you can, or the forearms, or just the legs. Depends on your flexibility. I'm going to take elbows, lengthening the chin in, tucking the chin in, lengthening the spine on the floor, the tailbone lengthens away from you, and feel your spine extending, flattening your spine on the ground. Ah, that spine. <laughs> Chin tucks in, from tailbone to the neck, opening your spine. We may create a double chin. Ooh, how flattering is that? Okay, and then we're just going to release it. And breathe. So we were compressing our transverse colon, and descending, and descending. And now, like a sponge, we're just letting it open. And just open, and open. Very nice. Like a sponge in the sea, it's all the same sponge. Okay, <laughs> sponge in the sea, isn't that cool? Okay, so um, see yoga. So we're cupping the knees, and we're just going to push the knees away, and the body's going to come with it. Because there's one body in and looking up. Eggs are curling down through the spine, knees come in towards the armpits, sending the knees away, even though they've been good. And then coming up. We're going to bring one foot in front of the other, and just going to move these. Hands come forwards. If you can, you can come straight forwards. Otherwise, to the side first. I'm doing a little round about trip. But see if somehow, some way, you can come back to plank. And again. One. One. Elbow. See if you can make as little movement in hips as possible. So you're keeping your core stable. We're moving the block all the way up. All the way up. Lifting the chest. Opening out of that lower back, reaching to the middle, we're reaching into the upper, seeing the head, the chin tucks, pulling back, lengthening into down dog, pushing away from the floor with those hands, ears are by the biceps, extending the left foot, or by left foot, exhale, halfway to nose, inhale, extend, making that leg completely straight, exhale to nose, now <laughs> I'm feeling my hair going, I want to change. But anyway, coming forwards, the foot comes between the hands, right foot goes flat. Left hand comes to ankle. Inhale, lifting up into triangle. See if it feels different now. If it feels different now. Maybe, maybe not. But just see how your hips feel. Do they feel 
Is it easier for them to be one hip over the other? Maybe. Lifting to the top hand, feeling our lovely hand, coming into a back bend. Hello, Sue. And the wall behind us. Hello, me. Hello, no. And it's opportunity the feet to come up. And coming forward with that space. Shoulders over wrists, fingers lengthening forwards. Exhale, pull back into the spine. Inhale, shoulders over the wrists. It's really fun when you do it with me. Yeah, yeah, it makes it so much more fun. And back, inhale. Exhale back, see if you can bring your elbows down. Inhale, shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, if you can, elbows down, if not, no worries. Inhale, exhale. And then here, starting to walk the hands back towards the feet. Depending on flexibility, the hands might be further than the feet, or they might be heels level with feet. And then either way, push through the hands, push the floor away with the hands, which will lift the hips. And then you'll be able to fold more and more of your legs. If you're more flexible, you might have many different coloured hair. <laughs> if you're more flexible, you might be able to grab your bum and look towards your bum. Push through the feet. Hello, bum. Hello, hello, hello. Nice to see you. Different angles to see you. And coming out, and slide better the knees, just gently tucking that tailbone under. To roll up through your lovely spine, the hands come to the belly, and just breathing in, allowing the shoulders to relax, loving the inhale, loving the exhale, and then you can do the other side. Just play the video again and just, and just feel it from a different angle, a different side, balance the body, and have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining, a different side, balance the body. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye. <laughs>